Hello dear friends, welcome back. Let's move further forward and discuss about the next discoveries which were done in, in the field of anatomy, right? So we have discussed up to the 14th century that up to 14th century what had happened, right? Now we are discussing about the 15th century. 15th century. What happened in 15th century? In 15th century, there was a famous person known as Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Or you can call him da Vinci. Right? And he started his very famous work for the field of anatomy and he did his many discoveries for, and what was the date from 1452 up to 1519 he was doing his very famous work in the field of anatomy and what did he do he for the first time started and done the cross-sectional anatomy right so let me write it here he started cross-sectional anatomy cross-sectional anatomy so cross-sectional anatomy was introduced by Leonardo da Vinci right and now we know now we know what is cross-sectional anatomy so I'm not going in detail of that but you just remember this we are discussing about the history not the cross-sectional anatomy right so Leonardo da Vinci started the for the first time cross-sectional anatomy was done by the Leonardo da Vinci right then there is the 16th century we move towards the 16th century what happened in 16th century there was our famous friend Andres Vesalius right who was there he was uh, there was Andres Vesalius he was a very naughty person and he did many discoveries in the field of anatomy and what were those look carefully what I'm going to tell you he was a person and he did uh, draw, he draw the diagrams and the pictures of the organs of the human uh, body, right? So he had a laboratory, right? And he had a very, uh, he, he had his colleagues uh, doing dissections of the human body in his laboratory. And he always uh, told them to bring me the dead bodies. Right, and, and they were going and bringing the dead bodies, and he put all those dead bodies on his table and started dissections of the human body and bring out the important organs, the reserved organs, and put it on a table and started making the diagram of all those. Right, so Andres Vesalius, as that's known as the founder of the modern anatomy, right? So we call him founder of. modern anatomy why I told you why he was he did all the he did draw all the diagrams which we are seeing right now uh, in in this 21st century so the person involved after it to make the diagrams of the human body and the organs he was the Andres Vesalius right and from which date he did his all, all these uh, important discoveries from 1500 and 14 look carefully from 1514 up to 1564 he was doing his very important work in the field of in the field of anatomy and he was known as the founder of the modern anatomy and we also call him the father of the modern anatomy right so we call him the father of modern anatomy clear friends so Andrus Vesalius and what did he do let me write it here he draw or we say he drew the pictures of pictures of organs of human body 
he drew the pictures of the organs of the human body right then we move towards the 17th century and we say that what happened in 17th century so in 17th century the person who was famous for his work in the 17th century in the field of anatomy was William Harvey William Harvey right William Harvey and he did his important works from the 1578 up to 1657 he was doing his very important very important functions very important he was playing his very important role in the field of anatomy from this that up to this one right and what did he do he discovered the circulatory system right so we say that he discovered circulatory system so human circulatory system was for the first time discovered by uh, William Harvey and my dear friends for the first time the recorded dissection the, um, they were they were doing the dissection and they recorded that video and uh, they recorded that video to show to the people right so the for the first time recorded dissection was done by William Harvey a great man right so he for the first time did recorded dissection okay friends this was our 17th century now we move towards our 18th century and we say what happened in the 18th century the most famous things which are happening look carefully what are what did happen to the field of anatomy the 18th century so in 18th century the person who was involved for his important uh, discoveries in the field of anatomy was William Hunter right so here we write his name the Valium Hunter right and William Hunter was from 1718 up to 1783 and he did his much discoveries to the field of anatomy and he was an anatomist and an obstetrician right he was an anatomist and obstetrician he was uh, he was famous in obstetrics right and anatomy so he was an anatomist and obstetrician and what did he do he did a very very important uh, establishment right so he established the Hunterian museum in London right so we say he established Hunterian Museum in London wow nowadays lots of doctors are trained by these uh, the, the the physicians and the anatomists which are working in the Hunterian museum museum so in the 18th century the first museum was formed for the anatomy that is called the Hunterian museum and this was established by the William Hunter right and now towards the 19th century what had happened in 19th century okay so in 19th century what had happened right let us discuss the discoveries and the inventions in the 19th century okay friends so in 19th century anatomy was very very much established right so in medical colleges dissections of the human anatomy for students was considered to be essential every student who is going to study doctorate 
who is going to MBBS or MD or any field of doctorate or physician, he must have the knowledge of how to dissect the human body, right? So up to here, only the physicians were allowed to dissect the human body. But in 19th century, it became very essential for every student of anatomy to have a clear knowledge of how to dissect the human body while studying medicine right so in 19th century students uh, must learn students essentially must learn dissections they should have a great knowledge of how to dissect the human body in anatomy it became very very uh, it, uh, the, the physicians and doctors were forcing on it f that f every student should have a knowledge of how to dissect the human body right so as you can see now nowadays every doctor when he when he do MBBS or MD or after that whenever he go for spe specialization in the field of surgery or others he has a very little knowledge and a more knowledge about the dissections of the human body and it is very necessary for surgeries and for surgeon, surgeons right so those students who are qualifying for surgeries they should have a great knowledge of dissections of the human body right and next important thing that happened in the 19th century was the use of formalin right the use of formalin became very important why formalin or formaldehyde is a chemical substance which is used for the reservation or the preservation of the tissues of the human body you can see in medical colleges there are preserved bodies right in laboratories they are lying there and whenever the students are going for practical they go there and start studying all those human bodies which have been preserved right which have been uh, preserved from damage so how do they uh, do this they put and they use formalin to preserve those tissues and cells of the human body and organs to keep them preserved for the students to study the different parts of the human body so use of formalin came to be known in the 19th century and in the 19th century another important thing happened that the x-ray discovery happened right x-ray was discovered in 19th century and when it was discovered it was discovered in 1895 x-ray was discovered now now we see the internal structures of the body through x-rays right so x-ray was an another invention in the 19th century by physicians right so here the anatomists who were working was the Henry Gray Henry Gray the name of the the famous scientist the famous doctor the famous physician who worked in 19th century was Henry Gray and he wrote a very important book which is the favorite book of every anatomy student which was named as the Gray's Anatomy right so Gray's Anatomy was written uh, in 19th century right and it is very essential every student who wants to have a clear knowledge of anatomy he should use Gray's Anatomy to have a great deal a great knowledge of the human body right then we move towards the 20th century 20th century in 20th century what happened my dear friends wow in 20th century there were the inventions of other things other important things like ECG like echo like ultrasound right the discoveries of ultrasound right discoveries of CT scan MRI right and then echo which is very important echo right so these important things were discovered in 19 and 21st century right uh, sorry in 20th century so in 20th century look knowledge is going to flourish right those machineries and those important uh, scanners were discovered that allow us 
to study the human the internal structures of the human body from external surfaces as we are going ultrasound as we are doing ultrasound we don't enter inside the human body we study the internal structures of the human body from the surface right so in the 20th century these inventions were done and in 21st century which we are living now the 21st century the new discoveries are going and the research are going to be done about research are going on what research are going on how to cure cancer research are going on how to cure cancer research are going on how to cure aids the non curable diseases are cured by these physicians and by the scientists so in 21st century the the, the research are going on cancer and uh, uh, aids uh, for treatment right for treatment of cancer and aids research are going and we don't know what will happen next after a decade after a hundred years what will happen next right so we hope for new and good discoveries which will be done in the coming years right so friends I hope it makes some sense to you guys we did the discovery we recorded about the history of anatomy we started from the Greek period then in the Roman period then we started from 14th century and we came up to the 21st century and these important inventions were done in anatomy now I hope you got you learned something from this lecture and friends next we are going to discuss about the anatomical terminologies of the anatomy right so see you in the next lecture Allah Hafiz